teenage years, and even now in adulthood. All aspects of growth and maturity come with its own challenges. I am not, and neither are you, exempt from life's challenges. Courage faces fear and thereby masters it. Dr. Martin Luther King. I was born to a single mother in a very humble environment. Like so many in her, her circumstances, she worked tire tirelessly to make sure my siblings and I had a decent life. It may have been minimal, but it was a decent life. But the struggle was really real. When I was growing up, it was real. In high school, picked on, bullied, talked about, bullied. Back in the day, it was face-to-face -face bullying. Now you have cyberbullying. Just a little side note. Those bullies are not the ones that need, are the ones that really need help. If you face your fears, your faith and inner confidence will see you through the challenge. A teenage mother of two wonderful children, Roderick and Jessica. Roderick, who is a graduate of the Boone Cookman University in Troy State University. He's an owner, entrepreneur, counselor, and pastor. Jessica, a graduate of FSU, now holds a supervisory role for the Department of Children and Family. My children and I are product of the Franklin County school system. Isn't it great to be a Seahawk? My life has been full of challenges and obstacles, but I managed to stay focused and persevere. Here's my point, and what I attribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His movement and others alike paved the way for me, an African-American woman living in a small town with minimal resources, assisted in creating opportunities that would have never been realized if he had stayed silent. Human progress is not automatic nor inevitable. Every step toward the goal of justice requires sacrifice, suffering, and struggle. The tireless exertions and passionate concern of dedicated individuals. I got involved in my community by joining a small group of like-minded individuals whose goal was to work for the betterment of our community. That organization is now known as Each Hope and has become a staple in the community. I then aspired to do more for my community and joined the ABC School Board of Directors. And afterwards, I aspired to do more, so I ran for and was elected to the City Commission. And afterwards, I aspired to do more and was elected to the Mayor position of the City of Appalachia Hope. And afterwards, I will aspire to do more and become whatever it is that I choose. There will be people along your life pathway that will sow seeds of doubt. These people will belittle and bully you. Tune them out. They are unhappy. There is an old saying, misery loves company. Don't join them because there will be people in your life that will encourage and motivate you. Listen, take hold of these words. Store them in your heart and your mind. Rely on them. But at the end of the day, learn to encourage yourself. There is no earthly person that can or will love you like you love you. I come to the conclusion that there is an existential moment in your life when you must decide to speak for yourself. Nobody else can speak for you, Dr. Martin Luther King. Society will attempt to put you in a box, but there is no one size fit all life. You may have the DNA of your parents, but each 
one of you are created in an image like none other. You are created to be equal with the rights granted by the Constitution. But you are different. Use your individuality to showcase who you really are and not who they say you are. Or who they say you can or cannot be. You can do anything and be anything that you want to be. You may get sidetracked along the way and achieve your goals may take a little longer, but encourage yourself because you can do it. You can do all things by relying on the strength that lies within you. There is nothing that will come against you that will prevent you from reaching your aspirations. Just believe and channel faith over fear. You know, a lot of people don't love themselves and they go through life with deep and haunting emotional conflicts. So the link of life means that you must love yourself. And you know what loving yourself also means? It means you've got to accept yourself, Dr. Martin Luther King. As you navigate, as you navigate through life, achieving and failing, ask yourself, who impacts my life? What will I do to make a positive impact in my life and in my community? Remember, even if you miss the mark, always thanks for it. Thank you, and God bless you.